when to say when. A lot of you young cats, man, I understand it. When it's time to go, you don't know if it's time to go. Uh, this is in response to an email from one cat who's really having some problems. Deciding when it's time to, you know, really start doing by yourself for yourself, you know what I'm saying? When it's, it's time to, to walk away from the group that you've probably been hustling with, the cats you've known your whole life. You know, and I know that's a hard decision, homie. It was a hard decision for me. I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's something that I had to struggle with when I got up and moved from the west to the east. That I didn't have really nobody with me, you know what I'm saying? No friends, no kin, no family, no nothing. You know, so I, that's when I put up on uh, Twitter. Some of you cats might have saw it, you know. Uh, um, if the cats you around aren't building with you, then slowly they're breaking you down. Uh, that's just me, you know, in my in my age now to be able to tell you that uh, if cats aren't building something, they're breaking it down, homie. And that's just the truth of the matter. So I want to give you some... You know, a little bit of advice on how to know when it's time to go, homie. Uh, when it's time to win, homie. Uh, uh, one in this game, and I'm not going to go in some super order. It might be 20, it might be 3, I don't know. See how long this goes. But one thing that I notice is that, see, you don't know when, when your mind is going to change when you learn about all this money. You don't know when it's going to be a point where, you know, what used to be cool two weeks ago ain't cool no more. So you might have been hanging out with cats since high school or college and, and everybody being cool and all of a sudden you wake up one day and all of a sudden the same things everybody else is doing, you're not doing no more. Um, or you don't want to be part of no more. Um, this whole trick and lifestyle, you don't want to be part of no more. Um, and I can't tell you when that's going to come, homie. Some cats will never get out of it. Some cats will always be kind of adolescents to their chip, young in the game towards their chips. And uh, they're never going to get better at their hustle. They're just going to stay that way. Um, but for most of us, we wake up one day and we notice that it's time to make money. And on that day, you know what I'm saying, it's, it becomes something where you look around at all these dudes still playing around with the chips and you trying to build an empire. They come on that day, you look up and you say, what the hell going on, man? I could be hustling by myself. I don't need all the damn strife and struggle and pain that these cats are giving me. I don't need the... It's hard enough to make money, homie, and now I got dudes who non-believers. I got cats who always trying to, to kind of mess up the hustle. And while I might like hanging around them, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them on my team, you know what I'm saying? But we've been a team so long, so how do I change that? Well, step one in the game is when you start realizing that you're growing up, homie, when you're starting to mature. And I don't mean that like you about to go and, you know what I'm saying, drink tea or nothing. It's just you, you come becoming your own man, your own woman in this game. And you're tired of people bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? And that's when it's time to go. Um, the second thing, man, is that realistically throughout history, most cats go by themselves anyway. It, it, it's never been a group thing. It's always been one dude. Um, you thought, you know, if you were like a rapper, you always think, oh, I can bring everybody with me. You really can't bring nobody with you, homie. It's just, it's just the way it is. I, I'm sorry to say that. It's just... You know, you, you, you'll, you'll be lucky to find someone who is on point, on mission with you, day in and day out. Um, most of these dudes lack discipline. Most of these dudes don't see the prize. Most of these cats don't want an empire. Uh, you're going to see them fall by the wayside, homie, because realistically, if you're trying to make a whole shitload of money, and these cats, all they want to do is have enough money to go trick, that's going to separate you from them, too. Because most cats just want enough money to trick. Um, They're not trying to have that forever dough. They're trying to have Saturday dough. Sunday dough. Friday night dough. Tuesday dough. They want to suit for an occasion. You know, they want to go to these places. They want to meet people. Um, that's what a groupie does. That's what a tourist does. That's what a spectator does to this game. Um, if you're not the cat that want to be a spectator to this game, that's number two on guaranteed it's time to go, homie. Um, you trying to win, they not trying to win, you got to know that. Um, three in this game, homie, truth be told, is something that I think that most cats, I, I think if you dig real deep, you'll, you'll find out that's why you're leaving. Um, sometimes you want to clear the slate, homie. Um, sometimes you know the motivation for the hustle comes from being in places that you know nobody and you have no obligations. Um, you don't owe nobody. You don't know nobody. Um, you're really trying to get out there and make this shit happen. 
and uh, you can care less. You know, I always call it the, when I moved to New York, let me give you a good example. Um, I knew a couple of cats there, but they weren't really my role buddies. They were people I knew, you know, from time in the past. So when I got to New York, homie, I didn't have any shackles on me, homie. I didn't have no, no, nothing to hold me back. I didn't have nothing to make me say, you know, damn, I wish I could, uh, you know, I gotta go help this person. I didn't have to do shit, but me. Since I didn't have to do shit, but me, homie, that allowed a whole bunch of freedom. Um, that I, I don't think if you don't have that much freedom, um, you're not gonna, I'm gonna say you can do it. I'm not gonna say I'm the only way, homie. I know that I needed the freedom. I needed to wake up in the morning and not worry about nothing. Uh, not worry about my brothers. Not worry about my sisters. Not worry about my mother. Not worry about my friends. Not worry about my kin. I needed to have that room. Um, because I needed to be able to do what the hell I wanted when I wanted. Um, a lot of cats do this and you never know because people don't tell you the truth. A lot of your family members, your folks, your cousins, your aunts, they move away for this freedom. You know, they'll move away from the family for this freedom. Um, and you might have that deep down inside, homie. You really want to see what you're about without carrying anybody else. Uh, if you got a girl with you, if she's on board, good. But if she's not on board, just like an NFL player, NBA player, they drop them because we're going all in. And if she ain't all in with you, then she got to be dropped too. You know, uh, but that freedom, homie, is what you really deep down want. Because if I didn't have all these cats around me, watch what I would do. Um, let me flip this to the other side, man. I'm going to go three, two, one on this one. Um, counting down uh, the number three reasons, homie, that you're going to feel bad about leaving. Um, if you're a cat like me, you grew up in, you know, gang neighborhoods and all this other shit. You know that these people really got your back. Um, it's going to be hard for you to meet new people who really gunning with you if you understand what I'm saying some shit really pop off motherfuckers coming these dudes that you meet from this point on are not gonna be those kind of dudes these dudes from this point on are good time Charlie's homie um and that's a sad thing man when you really used to walking with cats who really got your back and now you're sitting around cats who who just want to have a drink and, and you know side uh you know little little petty hating on you and all kind of little petty shit that you know you don't really give a fuck about um that's something that's real sad it's a loyalty factor homie um you might feel like you're betraying your friends by even thinking about getting the hell out of the situation um number two on the countdown um these new cats you meet um they don't understand the same reasons why you get now see these cats that you meet they might have said they were coming to be something or make something but they were just coming to be part of new york homie when i got to new york um and don't get me wrong i know a lot of you guys think i hate new york i actually love new york the hustle is there good peoples you know all my dominican homies harlem you know what i'm saying spanish harlem uh you know west indian section ralph avenue homie uh for a black man it was it was a black paradise i had all different kind of flavors there i enjoy being in new york but these dudes, you know, because they're, they're, they, they have what I like to call that bullshit competition. Um, somebody want better shoes than you. Somebody want to want to want to talk better than you. Um, you if you if you really about here trying to make something happen, when you hear all this little, I don't even want to call it hate, homie. I call it like bullshit competition. You know what I'm saying? It's just bullshit. Uh, that shit is quite irritating because they didn't come here to be something. They didn't come here to make something. They really came to be part of, um, and they, and they, they want to look like they good in business. And I never really wanted to look like I was good in business. I actually wanted to make fucking money. Um, so you kind of, you know, it's kind of disheartening to be walking around with a whole bunch of dudes who who think that uh, the new uh, Mont Blanc pen makes them like they're on the ball. I mean, it, it makes you look at them like, I mean, we came all this way for you to be sitting here looking like you got money and showing off and I, I mean I want to have a good time too homie but is this what we do so you gonna have to get used to that shit too um, the number one thing homie is that uh, you really buy yourself um, and that's that's the other side of the coin it's one thing to, to lose your friends it's another thing to lose all that you know homie uh, that shit is tough um, you know when I move around I've got a couple of cats they know me since I've been moving around all over the place 
And they always say, damn, Freeman, don't you feel this way? Well, it took me about two or three times when I move away uh, for me to get over that I'm really in this game by myself. Um, but the first time I was, I was out, man, uh, that shit was rough. Um, I showed up in New York, man. You know, I'm a Cali kid. I mean, you know, forever West, Tony. Uh, forever West, if you understand what I'm saying. But when I got out to New York, um, it's fucking snowing, shit, and all kind of... I don't know what the fuck all this weather is, man. I'm, I'm looking around. I got to give me a real hope. And shit, it's cold in a motherfucker. And you know what I'm saying? And you're trying to... F- there ain't no food places like you used to eating at and shit. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and motherfuckers have different cultures. So they talking sideways. And people puffing out their chest like a pigeon, homie. And you got to really be about your chips. Um, and it's just a different kind of life, man. I, I mean, if you never did it, I know it's hard, homie. When you wake up every morning... And and nothing here is nothing like home. Nothing. The food, the people, the fucking cable channels ain't right. Um, you know what I'm saying? And and that's tough. Um, and that shit was something I had to get over. You know, I had to really dig down deep, homie, and, and, and put on the inspiration, you know, the soundtrack to the hustle, you know, uh, to keep myself focused on why I was there. Uh, spent a lot of time talking to my own family who was away from there. Um met some new cousins who I never knew they were my cousins but you know kind of clinged on to them homie because you know you would rather have someone who says they're your family um, and you're not sure you still want that love homie and without that you kind of feel completely by yourself Um, and like I said when I was in New York that shit was rough Uh, but I got to it and I got through it you know what I'm saying that's the way the game is Um, you gotta decide when it's time to say when homie when it's time to really break the fuck out man because if you don't break the fuck out of this game um the reason why you see it's time to go is because you see opportunities and you know there's no more here you you've done what you can do here with the group that you got um it's time for you to break out um and this shit is hard for a lot of you young cats in this game because i know what y'all going through homie and i don't ever want to make it look like oh stop being a bitch and go do it it ain't about all that homie it's a little bit of a uh, little bit of fear and a lot of like I don't know what the fuck's around the corner. It would be a hell of a lot more comfortable if my boys would roll with me. You know, it it would be a lot easier, man. If you know what I'm saying, if if I had my road dog with me, if I had my best friend with me, if I had my brother with me, it would make this shit a hell of a lot easier. But you know, like I know, man, deep down in your heart, that you got the knack, homie. You got the hustle. You got the way. Um, you got the angle. You got the lane, homie. What what can you do? when motherfuckers don't see what you see um and you're still trying to drag them along you know it's slowing you down homie so the only thing i can really tell you to remedy this shit man is is just be comfortable with the fact that this shit is the way it is um your brother your family your sister if you do well homie you can always break bread with them um you know what i'm saying but it's a solo run in this game and uh, you got to decide if you want to win because right now you're doing good. You got chips in your pocket, but you know that you can pop and you can blow up if you push harder. And if you push harder, homie, you're going to have it. Um, but if you don't, you know that you're going to be stuck where they are. And you really, like I said, man, let me give you a better idea, man, because I've been, this is, this is a little bit more closer to the heart on the game. But the truth of the matter is, man, you see something they don't see. You see millions. They see drinking alcohol. You see you see the, the penthouse in, in, in Manhattan. They see a party. Um, you see a, a lifestyle. Um, they see a, a, a parking lot pimping. You understand what I'm saying? So you can be in the same place, homie. You, you can show up in Manhattan with you and your partners. And, and they see something completely different. You understand what I'm saying? And, and you got to know that that means it's time to go. Um, and this shit, this, this purging process of getting rid of motherfuckers is never going to end. Uh, I still go through this shit to this day. Um, you know, I don't really get caught up in women and pussy and all this dumb shit. Because they're they around every motherfucking way. I don't, the fuck we hunting for when the motherfuckers standing around here? I know a lot of y'all cats are starving, homie. Y'all starving for attention. Y'all starving for somebody to reinforce that you a man. But if once you... Once you come to grips with who the fuck you are and grow up a little bit, women are everywhere, homie. I mean, open your mouth, put in your bed, say hello, she'll say hello back, homie. You know what I'm saying? You can you can do what the fuck you want, but you have to remember one thing, you know what I'm saying? That you just see something that they don't see. 
And this is your chance, homie. If I let me tell you something, if I didn't break the fuck out and go to New York, if I didn't break the fuck out and start my business, I, I would be just a regular old cat in LA right now. This whole rise and grind shit would not exist. I wouldn't have no stories to tell you, homie, if I didn't take my chance. If I didn't separate from everybody I grew up with, I grew up with cats who and people all the way through college, man, that's strapping pounds of weed to themselves and shit. <laughs> Put getting on planes and, and doing put, doing federal offenses to get shit out to eat to East Coast. I'm I'm running with the wrong crowd of motherfuckers, man. I'm I'm running with cats who who you know what I'm saying, as we move on, you run into cats who want to be middle class and shit. And I, I don't want to be middle class, man. That shit sound boring, man. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want me to play spades and shit. I, I, but catch, catch me when I'm 90 on that spades and poker shit, man. I, man, I'm, I'm in the game, homie. I'm trying to make this money, man. I don't want to be doing that shit right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? I want to travel. I want to be able to meet some women. I want to be able to, you know what I'm saying, build my chips and live that the, the complete life, man. The living, the food. The, the car, the clothes, the women, the entertainment. I want it all, homie. I know some cats want a little bit of it. They just want to see it. I want to live it. You know what I'm saying? So when you start thinking, I don't want to be around a whole bunch of middle class cats who just want a house and shit. And I don't want all that shit. It ain't nothing against them. That's their goals. But you know, that's when you know it's time to go, homie. And it ain't, like I said, it ain't going to stop. Because even after you get all that stuff and you touch it and you see it and you live it, you're still going to be weeding motherfuckers out that you see got uh 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 you know bitch assism inside of was <laughs> bitch assness for for puffy but it's it's you know bitch like tendencies homie you know and they still trying to uh uh they haven't grown up as a man and you can't really roll with them because motherfuckers just just got uh ulterior motives deep down in their heart and you can't even afford to roll with them um you gotta you this is shit is continuous homie and you'll be lucky i consider myself to be lucky that I got cats around me. That's why I don't need so many goddamn friends. I'm a grown man. I don't need friends because we ain't five. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I got cats around me that understand who I am and I understand what they are and we can keep going and we try not to lie to each other and have no dumbass bitch ass beefs over dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you're going to get rid of a lot of motherfuckers, man. And this is the game, homie. I mean, like I said, this is really, really the game you know but this is a this little PSA for a lot of you kind of struggling with damn Freeman is it really like I gotta get up like the old motherfuckers do and put that little knapsack on my shoulder and get the fuck out of town you know what I'm saying and you, you, the game is yes you will homie you, you, it's really that way homie I really gotta get the fuck out of here and let me help you with the last couple of minutes that I got to help you with understanding what the fuck you gotta do you go around everybody cause this is the way you gotta get out of here you go around everybody that you want to keep in touch with and say, hey, man, it's time for me to break the fuck out of here. Yo, stay up, homie. And when I come back around, definitely we going to touch down. You know what I'm saying? But it's time for me to make my move. And most motherfuckers are going to respect that. You know what I'm saying? And when it, when you leave, motherfucker, really leave, homie. Don't be telling everybody you're going to leave in two weeks and your bitch ass leave in two months. Then nobody believe that you were about it, homie. You got to force yourself to get out of there because there's going to be a million reasons for you to stay. There's a million reasons for me to stay in L.A. when I went to New York. The fucking weather's better. I know everybody. I know some women. Me and my partner's going out. I have all these different clubs. Life is good. You know what I'm saying? I got money in my pocket. I'm smart. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got all this shit going for me. Shit is only going to get better. That's why everybody look at you and say, why the fuck you leaving? Because you know what? Damn, the empire's on that side, homie. Or at least the empire that I think is on that side. I got to go get it. And life, you look, man, and let me give you the reward of you taking this shit on. The reward of this thinking is, homie, chasing these chips, chasing this money will make you have a life that no one else ever fucking has. This is the reward. Little Compton kid like myself shows up and lives in Manhattan, shows up and lives in the penthouse in, uh, in Santa Monica. All this shit, homie, pushing cars that motherfuckers never seen. All this shit before I even got close to fucking 30. You understand what I'm saying? I'm coming home and I'm just buying shit. Taking care of my mother. Taking care of my family. Taking care of my brothers, my sisters, my cousins. You know what I'm saying? I had the Midas touch of the game. If I did not leave to go win, homie, I would not have seen all of that shit. So keep that in mind when you hesitating to get the fuck out and do your thing, homie. When you hesitating to leave everybody behind. They'll still be there, homie. 
And when you come back and you do good, homie, they're going to be proud of you. For the first couple of years, they're going to think you a bitch because you got up and left and you think you better than them. But that's not. That's because they feel really feel bad that you leave them behind. But when you come back, everybody's going to break bread with you, homie. You got to know when to say when, homie. You got to know when it's time to go out here and win. Next time, partner. You are listening to a high Santa production.